Hi, I'm Robert Murphy from Sandstone Software. Today I'm going to introduce you to the new press side soft roofing solution called VeriPress. Many of you have heard of the company name called Serendipity before, and they're famous for their product called Serendipity Black Magic, which was designed to, for proofing post rip bitmaps from CTP machines. And this covered the commercial packaging area and also the newspaper market. Over the recent years, the demand for soft proofing has increased, mainly because of customers just don't have time to proof. So before Serendipity went into this, they decided to do some research on, on basically asking all the users from the commercial area and newspaper, etc., on what they actually needed. And there's a short list drawn up, um, and they included they really wanted to have a very fast easy to use soft proofing system. It had to be a server based solution with unlimited clients on the presses. It had to be a very affordable without click charges or rental fees or annual subscriptions and above all uh, you know the pressman wanted a touchscreen console because they knew that a mouse and keyboard simply just would not work. They also want to be able to show on the screen that they could produce a certified proof or that it could actually pass, um, for example, the FOGRA or the GRACL standards. Um, they also want to display the transparency effect or the show through effect of uh, when printing on different stocks. Also be able to display accurate background paper simulation and also in certain cases, they want to be able to show the original half-tone or stochastic screening. So, the product called VeriPress is, is addressed into the, into the following markets. So here we have commercial sheet fed, for also for single side and perfecting presses, folding carton work, newspapers, reviewer, magazine, publishers and also label printers. The software um, is available uh, and runs on Macintosh OS X, uh, Windows and also Linux. It's a server, it's a client server software which has unlimited uh, clients in the press room and is also um, able to uh, run the client on Macintosh or Windows platform. The user interface is via a touchscreen console and uh, that's on a Mac or Linux, uh, Mac, Windows or Linux or they can use it on a keypad or a mouse and keyboard. Here is a typical workflow diagram of how the system works. We have a typical CTP RIP system here and the Blackmagic server is sitting on its own hardware and it's monitoring the RIP for the post-RIP files. As soon as it sees a front and back page section, it will automatically pick those up, it will process them and deliver them directly to the press, either press 1 or press 2 or press 3, or they can be then delivered directly out to the uh, to a remote client for soft proofing approval. The input capabilities of the software include all the most common flavors of single bit uh, TIFF formats including um, spot plates. We also take in Fuji Celebra, uh, XMF, uh, the Kodak Prinogy, uh, barcode, uh, ESCO.LEN files, AG for CCIT Group 4, Screen TrueFlow, Harlequin TIFFs or even the uh, PGB files. We also take data from unscreened RIPs like Cytex Brisk Impose uh, with ALC files, Rampage or Artwork Systems as well. Also we can take in uh, PostScript files, also you know, PDF with spot plates. So if we go back to a normal workflow diagram, the most important part of the process is the, is, is the automation. And here we can see the, 
a job which is uh, now uh, up there, which it's a two-page, two, two eight-page sections which are now processing. The software supports multi-core processors. So as you can see here, the front and back page section are being processed simultaneously. This is in the imaging stage at the moment. And then it's going to move into the rendering stage. The job will then automatically rotate and trim out any excess uh, data from the edge of the plate. Typically, um, the time to process two large eight page sections is around about 90 seconds each, anything between 60 to 90 seconds. So if you have an eight, pay, uh, an eight core processor machine, and that means it will be processing eight pages at the same time. Here we can see the job now is going to the rendering stage, it rotated, and once the job has completed the, the imaging process, it will immediately be displayed on the touchscreen console. Alternatively, you know, jobs can be processed to the central uh, pre-press queue. They can be checked and then they can be redirected to press 1, press 2 or press 3, whichever the case may be. So the jobs are finished processing. Let's come over here now to the touchscreen console. And the press operator simply presses home publication and the last job there and then he selects it and presses view. The large eight page section is programmed to come up and fit the width of the screen automatically. So that's one section there but we're on a perfected press so we want to have also the other side. So if we go back and we load the job again we'll actually have up on the screen here two, two sections, two sides, a front and a back. I'll just change one of those surfaces now into the back page. There it is. So that means if we use the, the previous tab and next tab button, we can switch from one side of the press sheet uh, to the other. The first thing the press operator would do was would select show channels and take off the black to check any typical overprint issues. You would then come back, go straight to the navigator, and then straight to print size. And therefore then he can just simply touch on the screen the area that he wishes to use, and touch that area again. If he wants to look at any area with finer detail, there's a zoom button in here, and he touches that, and then it touches the appropriate area and as you can see, that gives you a, a very fast response. It had to be extremely quick, and this is what the, the uh, press operators wanted. They didn't want a job to be slowly loading whilst there were a lot of sheets coming out on the press. Okay, let's go back to fit width. One of the functions in the system we have, which was requested, is a function called back page, and this shows us the transparency effect of a of the one page behind another. So if we show there, and now we can zoom in on that area, and you can see the transparency effect that's taking place. I'll actually even bring that up to print size so you can actually see it a little bit closer there. All right. Okay. Alright, so then let's come back to the, to, to the navigator and print and fit width. Another function that we have in the system is called an ink key viewer. And that brings, it calculates the zip3 data on the fly and the pressman can accurately see what his press key should look like. There's a button up here called excess ink, which shows us now the areas which have, for example, over um, 320 percent and then he can check those in each of the individual channels or he can take it off and look at the individual plates as a whole job. Also each ink key here is available for display and then it gives 
a percent, it lists the percentage opening of the key on the press. In the software, we've also included an ink weight calculator. So we have a 50,000 run here, and the ink weight grammage per square meter is 2. We can press calculate, and there we, therefore we see the list of the weights of that particular job. And now the software also will calculate the ink weight for the complete publication, and that can be exported as a PDF as well. Let's take another typical job that happens in the industry. We've got a packaging job in this situation. So if we press home publication, select the job called Crayola and press view image. Up will come the job on the screen. We press navigate, print size. And then what we also would like to do is, is select the correct press preset because we've swapped from a commercial and now we're on to printing on board. So we have a different press preset configuration. And the one here is called packaging. And that's got, it could have a different, slightly different ICC profile in there. So that comes up now. In these particular circumstances, the press operators would like to see the various uh, channels and how they form. The software, you can, the press operator can also change the print sequence here, different print lay down sequence. And this is an area where the press operators demanded uh, a loop where they could see the original half tone screening and the underlay and overlay trapping. So we've introduced a loop. We can make this magnifying loop bigger and bigger and then we can move it around or we can zoom in a bit more and the press operators can see the original half tone screen as you can see here. What's also been included is a heads up display. So when the loop floats around it's got a square there and it will display the average dot percent in CMYK and also the individual spot plates. Where there are crit critical trapping issues, the operator has a facility to select solo channels and you can cycle through the individual CMYK and the spot plates and check the underlay and overlay trapping. So this is available for all for sheet, sheet fed work as well. Let's go to the uh, back to main and select the ink key viewer. Here we can see the zip3 data has been calculated including the spot plates. We have a 50,000 run again, let's say for this particular job, and it now lists the amount of ink there for each of those uh, CMYK and also the spot colours. We can also check the excess ink, the individual separations including the spot plates, there's the dye line, etc. Now this is, software is also very very good for uh, when you have linguistic changes and you have multiple blacks uh, the, all the blacks could be up there and you could select the appropriate black that you were just, um, printing for that particular version. Individual ink keys once again. We'll come back to main. Now, 